Thank you for joining me today on That Celebrity Interview. Hopefully you've been watching the TNT show, Southland. Well, I've got their stars to kind of get you ready for the new season. I've got Ben McKenzie and Michael Cuthis. Thank you guys for joining me. Thank you for having having us. us. Well, I'm going to start with you, Ben, just because uh, you're taller. How about that one? Uh, (laughs) uh, Ben, you know, I, I was used to seeing you on the OC, but now I've got you on Southland. Tell me about your role on uh, Southland. First of all, thank you for noticing that I am, yes, in fact, taller than Michael Cutlets. Uh, <laughs> second is, uh, yeah, so this role on Southland is a little different from the role that I had on the OC. This is, uh, uh, this is a cop show. Uh, it's, uh, it's a very realistic, kind of fast-paced, action-oriented show set on the streets of Los Angeles, and I play a rookie patrol officer. Uh, who is being uh, taken around town by his training officer, played by Michael. Uh, And the training officer's job is to try and make the rookie prove himself and show that he has what it takes to be a cop. So he puts me through a lot of tests and a lot of challenges. And sometimes I succeed in those and sometimes I fail. But um, it's a great sort of mentor-mentee relationship that develops and it's pretty exciting to watch. Well, now to you, Michael, as the mentor. Now, uh, I said Ben was tallest. Can I say you're the cutest? (laughs) Absolutely. (laughs) And I remember you from Band of Brothers, but now you've got a totally different persona. Tell me about being this mentor. Uh, The interesting thing about this is that uh, in this relationship, uh, I'm the the training officer, and I take my job very seriously. I know these the the rookies that come out of the, the academy uh, you know, usually have just done all the training by the book, they've done the classroom work, but they really don't know how to apply those skills. So what it is is trial by fire, and my job is to make sure that they succeed. So I'm going to be as hard on them as possible, I'm as hard on uh, Ben here as, as possible, but it's, it's, it's really there's, you know, there's a method to the madness. Um, my, my goal is for him to succeed, not for him to fail. Uh, the idea is that if he can survive me, he can survive the streets. And if he's going to fail, I would rather it be with me than in a situation where he could get himself or someone else hurt. Okay. Well, both of you guys, you guys are uh, playing with one of my favorite actresses, Regina King. Yeah, uh, Regina. There's some other good characters in there, too, but I really, really like her because she is able to morph into just about any role you put her into. But why can you guys do drama so well in, in a place that's so unique like Los Angeles? And I know crime is everywhere. You like you listen, you know this area that you guys are in Southland is very very unique from the ultra rich to the ultra poor. Yeah, I think what uh, what provides such a great backdrop um, thing that the thing that makes LA so unique in terms of filming a cop show there is that first of all, as patrol officers, we are, you are driving around all over Los Angeles. It is a city made for the car, and so you are in a car with the two of us driving from neighborhood to neighborhood. And Los Angeles is an incredibly diverse uh, city, ethnically, racially, uh, socioeconomically. And so you get all kinds of different neighborhoods. You get all kinds of different problems within those neighborhoods. And it provides a pretty broad um, uh, framework from which to work out of uh, for a show. You don't, you're not sort of dealing with one particular issue the entire time. You can kind of deal with them sort of... Uh, uh, an infinite number of issues all over the city. Um, so I think it's a really kind of interesting, fun backdrop, and it shows off Los Angeles in a way that people who aren't really from Los Angeles may not understand about it, that it's not just Hollywood and Beverly Hills. There's a lot of other sides to it as well. Well, let me ask you, and if I can ask this, uh, um, I'll ask this to Michael. Um, was that you, Michael? <laughs> that, that was yeah, Ben, that was sorry. Ben. That was Ben. Okay, Michael, let me yeah. ask you this. Um, that's the drama that you guys present to us every every week. What, what does this do to your to me? And that's my always my question. What does this do to your soul? Portraying these things these these are not the nice things of life. This is not playing like Dynasty where you're rich and having this great life. This is playing the crux of life. What does this do to you personally? Um, I, I don't know if it does anything long term to you. I think it definitely gives you a, you know an, an understanding that these these things are actually going on. Um, people are actually having these types of problems and dealing with these types of issues that you deal with on a day-to-day basis. You know, and remember, we're a TV show, so so things are compressed for time and for dramatic purposes. 
you know, we, we deal with a lot more than, you know, a typical officer would deal with in a day, although the, the, the situations are the same. I think, if anything, what it does is gives you a greater understanding and respect for the, July, the, the job of policing, you know, a large city uh, and the things that these men and women go through on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, and for me, I, th I think it's given me a, a, a great respect and, and sort of, you know, the ability to cut someone a little bit of slack uh, if, uh, if you get pulled over on the street and, you know, the officer's not talking to you exactly the way you would like them to because you really don't know what they're coming from. Um, they could be coming from some kind of major horrendous thing and now they're dealing with you. And, you know, I, I just, I think if, if, people spent a little bit of time doing, you know, ride-alongs like we have in our training, you would really come to grow in uh, a respect for the job of policing. Mm -hmm. I like that. Well, I'm going to wrap up with you, Ben. If you can tell me, uh, tell me when we can watch it, and also, too, what am I going to see you guys in next, or is this taking your full-time career? Sure. Uh, well, first of all, you can see Southland every Tuesday at 10, 9 Central, uh, all over the country on TNT. So TNT every Tuesday at 10, 9 Central. Um, and in terms of my, what you can see me in, I just did a play in the fall, which has ended, so unfortunately you won't be able to see me in that. <laughs> I've got a couple of movies that are in sort of uh, general pre-production that hopefully I can do in the spring, but nothing that I want to jinx and talk about right now. But Michael just did a movie, just did a movie with Melanie Griffith. We've, we've, we've done a few interviews this morning, so I know exactly what, what he's going to say anyway, so I don't okay, want to say Okay, Michael, what are you up to? He did, oh, he's quick. doing great. <laughs> he, did a, he did a movie with Melanie Griffith. He's called, taller. I'll let him speak. Called, <laughs> called The Grief Tourist, uh, and uh, it is a sort of a hard-hitting drama shot uh, both in New Orleans and Los Angeles, mm -hmm. uh, an independent film that... Uh, uh, I can't wait to see myself, actually. Well, so I, I, we're, we're, we're looking for you now. You guys have really made a presence with us, and this is really a little bit of six degrees of separation for me because I interviewed Melanie Griffith's mom, Kippy Hedron, this week. So you guys oh. are in good company. Yeah, oh, I'm fantastic. in good company. I'm not sure Small which world. one. She's an amazing <laughs> woman. Yeah. Amazing, amazing. I want to thank you guys for just just appearing on our radar. I really appreciate that. We will be watching Southland because it's, I, I think it's so real. I ask you guys what Southland did for you. Let me tell you what it does for me, and I'm probably unique. It makes me want to be a better citizen, and it makes me definitely not want to get arrested. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you, Ben McKenzie and Michael Cutlass, for joining me as my celebrity guest on the Valder Beebe Show. Thank you, Val. Thanks for having us.